Age, height, weight of the guys. Bruno Tank have advantage in his uh, height, and now he goes to the takedown and quick work. We have uh, striker Jitzer against uh, pure grappler. And yes, Bruno Tank is a grappler. And he will go for the takedown for sure. Good knee to the body from the Bruno Tank. Good elbow. And another knee to the head. He's rushing really quickly. Doing a lot of work in the first round. And controlling his opponent uh, near the fence. And I guess he will go for the takedown also. Yes, that's right. Successful takedown for the Bruno Tank. And he is leading in this fight so far. I don't think that his opponent is in a big trouble, but maybe now. A lot of hooks. Oh, good high kick from the Bruno Tank. And he's really will go for the takedown. The grappler that can strike hard, it's a very dangerous opponent. Good takedown. Successful takedown for the Bruno Tank. And now he's, he's starting to work hardly. He's controlling his opponent. Big left hook and if he will take back all his opponent opponent uh, Giuliano Nicolas can be in trouble with him. oh yeah really good take down from the Bruno Tseng He is uh, definitely leading in takedowns in this fight. A lot of short right uppercuts was by Bruno Tank. Oh, he is going for submission, I guess. I guess he is going for submission. He is really controlling his opponent. A lot of shots. And there is uh, really no chance for Giuliano Nicolas. He must do something. And another good takedown for the Bruno Tank. So I guess the end of the fight will come really soon. There's a really passive defense from uh, Giuliano Nicolas and uh, so we see that uh, Bruno Tank is doing pretty well. He is winning the first round of the fight. There is no doubt about it. And he is going for submission I guess. He, oh good knee to the body from Bruno Tank. 
and another big knee and another one Juliano Nicolas stood up but I guess take yes of course take down is coming really physically stronger I can see Bruno Tank here doing takedowns uh, pretty easy and there is passive defense no answers from Juliano Nicolas and Bruno Tseng goes for submission and have a good grounded pound game here knee to the body big hook from Bruno Tseng well we see the second round of this fight it's pretty interesting it's pretty intrigued one two from Juliano Nicolas high kick from Bruno Tseng and yes I guess we will see the second round. What a surprise, guys. Yeah. We will see the second round. Pretty interesting. And I can uh, say that the first round, uh, Bruno Zank won absolutely clear. So the second round, it's a welterweight fight. Juliano Nicolas, gloves with the blue scotch and Bruno Abreu Teixeira or Bruno Tank, gloves with red scotch. Uh, the first round was very good for Bruno Tank. He was controlling his opponent, scored a lot of successful takedowns and was close to finish the fight. But I can say, and I really respect the durability of Juliano Nicolas, but he should do a lot of uh, work in the second round. He must change the game in the second round, because he lost uh, the first round. He needs to be active, he needs to bring to the table all his skills. He is a striker, so I guess that uh, if he will fight in stance it will be suit for him but i see that bruno tank is waiting waiting for a moment uh, to, to make a takedown bruno tank is really composed jab from bruno tank high kick a bit missed with this high kick And now we see Juliano Nicolas is going for the takedown. Not successful. And we see that uh, Bruno Tseng waiting for his opponent. And I see that he wants to catch him. High kick from Juliano Nicolas. And we see that uh, Bruno Tank is not very active uh, in the second round as he was in the first. Good hook. Another hook by Bruno Tank. Oh, good trading shots. Right hand and one and another right hand from Juliano Nicolas. Oh, we see, we saw good exchange and stands and now 
I guess uh, Bruno Tseng is going for the take then. He's controlling his opponent near the fence. But now I guess it will be a little bit difficult for Bruno Teixeira because uh, both guys are a little bit wet. But now he's controlling Giuliano Nicolas. Uh, trying to take his back. Nicolas stood up. And Bruno Tank will go for another takedown, I guess. And I think that uh, physical conditions will be uh, the main thing in this fight very soon. Who is more fresher? Now we see a lot of work by Bruno Tank. He is really controlling his opponents and trying to go for the takedown. Now the fight is not so uh, spectacular, but we see a lot of work from uh, Bruno Tank. Yes, and now he's trying to throw his opponent, bring him down to the ground. And we see uh, the defense of Giuliano Nicolas. As we see the takedown, but it's a dangerous position for Bruno Tank, I guess. But not yet. Bruno improved his position. And what a surprise. We will see the third round in this fight. third and the last round of this fight. Bruno Teixeira Abreu or Bruno Tank. Glove with the red scotch and uh, Juliano Nicolas. Uh, glove, gloves uh, with the blue. Right hand from Nicolas. Good front kick from Nicolas. Low kick from Nicolas. And he is more active now in the third round. So he's trying to pressure his opponent, change his stances. Uh, 
And I guess Bruno Tank is really waiting too much. Oh, good left hook by Giuliano Nicolas. Bruno Tank fires back with a jab. Low kick from Nicolas. Low kick from Bruno Tank. Footwork from Bruno Tank. Good one, two, and take down for Bruno Tank, but sweeping. We see Giuliano Nicolas now in mount. And now it's time for him to showcase his skills. Will he do it? He needs to pull out his hands and do the job. Do some ground and pound, I guess. I guess elbows will suit him. Good position. It's a really good position, I mean, mount. But we see uh, good defense from uh, Bruno Tank. And now, and now, Juliano Nicolas should, must, must work hard, must do his ground and pound. Does he have an ability to do it? Sweep attempt was from uh, Bruno Tank. And now some ground and pound from uh, Giuliano Nicolas. But I can see that uh, Bruno Tank defend himself uh, uh, really good. Really good. No big damage for him in this position. No really dangerous crisp shots from uh, Giuliano Nicolas. And now, and now he can do it. We have plenty of time in this really, really good position, but uh, maybe his uh, skills are not so good to realize this uh, chance to win the fight uh, in the distance. But the third round is uh, pretty good for him, I mean Nicolas, of course. Body shots, hand shot, uh, head shots from Giuliano Nicolas and uh, really solid defense from Bruno Tank but Bruno should stand up must stand up he's trying to do this right hand from Giuliano Nicolas I don't think that he's out of gas, but uh, he done a lot in the third round. Now he's in mount, still in mount, and attempt to avoid this uh, punishment from uh, Bruno Tank. Uh, the last minute of the round. Body shots from uh, Giuliano Nicolas. And uh, not much activity from uh, Bruno Tank, we can see. Uh, really, the last seconds of the round and uh, of the fight. So we'll go to the scorecard, uh, scorecards, I guess. To the judge's decision. Oh, he can do the... No. Kimura attempt was lost. Anyway, it's a good round for Giuliano Nicolas. Really good round. And now we... And now we are going... Uh, for the judges... To the judges' scorecards. And something tells me that uh, Giuliano Nicolas can get a win on this fight. Or will I be right or will I be wrong? We will find out really soon.
Green House, our three churches, Car Coaches, Penny Night, Penny Age, the Climbing Women, by Unanimous Decision. I was wrong. So the winner of the fight is Bruno Tseng. Our oh, congratulations for Bruno. And uh, uh, much respect for his opponent, Giuliano Nicolas. We are waiting for the next fight of the evening.